our Savior, our Redeemer, our all in all. We delight to be in your presence on this beautiful day that you have made. A day that we come to rejoice and be exceedingly glad. We enter into thy gates with thanksgiving and we enter into your court with praise. We are thankful unto you, God, and we come for the sole purpose to bless your holy name. Yeah. Oh, God, we come to thank you for your grace and your mercy thank you. that has kept us throughout the course of this week. Thank you, God, for protecting our going in and our coming out. Yeah. Thank you for showering our mercies, new mercies, each and every day. Oh, God, when we consider all that you've done for us, our souls can't help but cry out, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing us with your favor, blessing us with your grace, blessing us with your mercy. Yes. Eternal and all wise God, we acknowledge that without you, we can do nothing. But with you, we can do all things. Yes. And today, Lord, we just want to thank you for supplying all of our needs according to your riches. Lord. Today, God, we come with humble hearts, dear Lord, as we learn of the soldier that you have called home, Reverend Dr. Manfred Carter. We thank you, God, for his leadership as a pastor, former pastor of Constantine and Zion Church. We thank you for all the lives that he touched and all the lives that he helped to receive the gift of life and salvation. Now, God, we ask that as he sent, ascends to heaven, that you will be with his loving family, left and high. Yes. In your word, we pray, for we can endure for a night, but the joy and unspeakable joy comes in the yes. morning time. Yes. Yes. And, oh, God, we can't help but also remember Reverend Lacey Leroy Walker Jr., yes. Yes. your son, dear God, that proclaimed your word and knew you in the part of the sin. We ask God that you will be with the family, the Walker family, as they celebrate his life, his legacy, and his love. Yes. Wrap your loving arms around them and help them to know that as they look to the hill, yes. from which come of their help, that all of their help comes from you. Yes. Oh God, we just ask that you will minister to those who have assembled here, yes. those who came to the altar, and those yes. even in the pew. Yes. As we, God, pass all of our cares on you, not The prayers of the righteous avail as much. And as we cast our cares on you, knowing God that you can work all things and turn all things around, we just thank you for being a loving God. Thank you. For you so loved the world and gave your only begotten Son. Yes. And your love didn't stop there because it was your love that lifted us, each of us, out yes. of the walk in the miry clay. Yes. It's your love that continues to sustain us each and every day. It's your To be. It's your love that strengthens us to be our brother keeper and help those who we know in harm's way. Oh God, thank you for that instrument of love that you have poured upon us that we can love each other. Thank you, God, for all who the household represented here today. Thank you, God, for the power of your anointing to move and help those who are in need. Heal the broken hearted and set those in captivity free. Give eyesight to the blind and help raise those who may be weak and worn as they help to lean on you, God. Your word declares as we trust in you and lean not to our own understanding and all our ways acknowledge you and you will help us in every situation. As we wait upon you, Lord, your word declares as we wait on
good thing about prayer, Lord. And beloved, that God is faithful and just to hear our prayer individually and collectively. And have never seen the prayers of the righteous be forsaken. Now it's time to prepare to give our gifts of kindness offering unto the Lord. Amen. It's offering time. Amen. 